right here. This is it. This is what you need. Two products. Paint, wax. Paint, wax. Paint, wax, and a pretty piece of furniture. That's it. I had someone write to me this week that they were so frustrated because they tried to do a, a technique that I'd done and it was a mess, a hot mess, and they lit, she said I was crying. She was literally crying and that breaks my heart because I am on here to inspire you to succeed. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to become frustrated and cry and put it away and never touch paint again. That's not what we want. If someone, someone else who were brand new to painting, who watched a thousand videos, decided to do this, this could be a success. Just look for a piece that's got good bones like this and just imagine it. Choose your color, which I know can be really, really hard. So here we go, Tree Frog Green, gorgeous and bright. This is it, this, these are our two products. This is gonna do the whole thing. Paint and wax, a spray bottle, and a brush. This is my Dixie Belle Mini. It's my favorite Dixie Belle brush. I absolutely love it. So that's it, that's all That's all we're gonna use. All right, my Gator, my my Tree Frog Green, blah, 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 blah. My Tree Frog Green, oh my goodness, Tree Frog Green does not get used that often. So it's a little bit thick. I am gonna go ahead and pounce this on, but I may take my spray bottle right here and give it a little bit of spray and it'll just help that paint get into the nooks and crannies and it'll spread out a little bit. Dixie Belle paint, what's awesome about it is if, you're, if you want something really thick with a lot of texture, you can usually open this up and just let it air dry let air get to it and it makes it nice and thick for you. Or if you've had your container open for a while and it's gotten too thick, you just pour it out into another bowl and add a little bit of water to it and you can dilute it down to whatever consistency that you want. So nothing pretty here, you guys. I literally did all of my paint here in just like 20 minutes. You just wanna slop it on, get it in all of the nooks and crannies just like this. Okay, we're gonna get this whole piece painted together right here, right now. Get down in the deep spots, and then I'm gonna go back and clean up my brush strokes in just a second. But I literally just scrubbed this on, just like this. That side is done and dry. It's had no sealer put on it at all. We're gonna wax that side in just a minute. But I wanna show y'all how not perfect I paint. I mean, I'm a, it's a mess. I'm painting a mess. I just pounce this in because there's these carvings on here, and then I go ahead, I go ahead and get this side pounced in, and then I'm gonna go back over here because it's had time to sit there for just a minute, and I'm gonna go over there before it's had too much time to sit there, and I'm gonna kinda smooth out my brush strokes. You can do that with water if you want. I don't really feel that I need that right now. We're, we're gonna, we're not going for like a super clean, clean look because we actually are gonna black wax over it. Um, so. There we go, okay, got that thrown in there. Now I'm gonna take, take my brush and I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm just gonna bring my brush strokes down, just like that. I want it to go from top to bottom, just smooth it all out, smooth it all out, just like this. And then I wanna get in here and pick up any, any little drips that I might have, like your holes right here, you might get some drips. I just usually use my finger, pull that out, pull, just dab any excess off with your brush, smooth it out. All right, here we go again, guys, up top to bottom. Just making my strokes go from top to bottom, just like that. Okay, so same thing here. Look what I can do, y'all. I can go like this. I don't have to go up and down on the sides yet. I don't have to. You, you, don't have, you can just fill in, fill in all your areas. Just get it on there. Just move it around. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to use tape. And then, at the last minute, come back and straighten out all of your strokes, just like this. I usually go up and down, get them just the way I want them, and then very softly, I come back and I move it just like this, okay? Just like that, same thing up here. Nice and smoothed out, same thing down here. And we're done, we're gonna turn it around. I did not degloss, I did not sand, I cleaned it with white lightning, then I just started painting. Two coats, two coats on this entire side, and let that dry. I did it about an hour before we went live, and then I painted this side right now live in one coat, so this is one coat, and it's drying, and we're not gonna touch this again. I just wanted to show you how fast I painted half of this small buffet, half, okay? Um, my point is I'm trying to encourage you to not overthink things and to let you know that you can make something beautiful in a simple style, very simple style. I've got best stain wax, in black. 
Bestang Wax is grabby. This chalk paint is very porous. It's, its pores are open and hasn't been sealed and it's gonna absorb and soak up like a sponge anything that you put on it. So when you put a dark wax on it, it's gonna drastically change the color of the paint and it's going to soak into all the little pores of the paint. It's gonna soak the heck up out of this Besting Wax, which this is what it looks like. I use it a lot. I absolutely love it. I love it in brown and black, and this is the black. You can use any brush to apply this. Tonight, I'm gonna to use this one because this paint is fresh. This paint has only been dry for about an hour and a half. It's much softer and easier on your paint, but you do need baby wipes. You need some baby wipes. So here we go. Gonna. These, by the way, my affiliate link is at the top of this video. I'd love it if y'all decide you wanna try something. If y'all would use my affiliate link, that makes us all so very happy. So let's start in here. So this part's kind of scary for a lot of people because a lot of people are like, what? That's so dark and so black and I don't know that I can do that. That's so scary. It is, it's a very scary part. But I want you to cover it completely. And people also say, well, oh, it's such a waste. I mean, you know, you're, you're putting all of that in there and then you're wiping most of it away. Well, I am, but the look is so amazing that um, I don't even care. And plus, you, a little bit goes a long way. I, these last me forever. They last forever. So let's do one panel and not the other and so that you can get a good look. There's no rush. I just keep going in a circle. I just want to get it in all of the cracks. I don't want any green highlights showing anywhere. I want it to be all black, just like this. I hope y'all like this green when we're done. You'll see how much it changes it. It's crazy, the difference in the color. It makes it so rich. So depending on how this looks, because I do want it to be a Hollywood glam piece, I had said that I didn't need to top coat it with anything, but I honestly may go ahead and do either uh, gator hide or um, the clear satin top coat, in, not satin, the clear coat in gloss. I may do that. I may, I probably will use gator hide. Gator hide gives such a beautiful shine. I love it. So that is that. Well, actually I'm going to go ahead and do the, I'm going to do the whole door. Let's just get up here. I'll do this. Is that scary? Scary for you guys? Cool. So here we go. I'm going to take this and rub that away. Isn't that gorgeous? It just gives like this hint of black and all the grain. It brings the, this faux wood grain that's going on on this piece. It makes the carving, look at that carving compared to that carving, and you just keep going. You just fold your baby wipe over and you just keep rubbing. And you can make this as clean as you want. You can take off all the black if you wanted. I mean, except for all the way down. Obviously you can't get all the way in there but I love it. I like it shadowed like that. Now there's other ways to get shadows. You just have to find what you like to work with the best. But on these type of pieces, especially over the rich colors like the green and the plum crazy, I really, really like, uh, I really like the best, best in wax. So open this up and get this right here. You wanna just check all your edges. So what you think about that, y'all? Here's some black up here. You don't want to leave that. If, you, if I'm not going to finish working tonight, I want to make sure and wipe that away because that wax will stay on there. This is what they look like. We got a lot of black off. You see that? And I could go back in and take off even more. If this is too grungy for some people, no problem. You just wrap, your, wrap it around your finger like that and get up in there. Get up just like that. You can make it even a brighter green if you want. But I like it. I like the shadow effect a lot. Imagine that this piece right here, which is so stunning, I'm gonna paint this in a super, super bold gold, and it will sit right here in a very brilliant gold, and I think it's gonna just be stunning. I hope that um, this encourages you to step out of your, uh, that comfortable place or maybe even that frustrating place of not trying something or maybe the place where you tried something maybe too big for you right now and you need to kind of baby step it, just back it on up. Feel free in the comments to let me know what it is that you would like to see from me and I will do best to work that into my custom orders, okay? Okay guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Sweet dreams to y'all too. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.